Hey, I'm Jay, and welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Jacob. And I'm Jonas, and today is August 16th, National Tell-A-Joke Day. And I've got the perfect joke to tell you all on this wonderful occasion. Well then go ahead, please. Tell us your joke that I'm positive everyone's gonna laugh about. Ha ha ha, I'm lonely. I mean, is that it? Or? No, no, I forgot the joke part. Oh, dang. It was a nice effort, but something that's never a joke is the weather with Sabrina. Let's give it to her. Hey MJ, it's Sabrina. Today will be partly cloudy at the high of 87 degrees. A thunderstorm is possible at around 2 or 3 this afternoon. Tomorrow there will likely be scattered thunderstorms in the morning, becoming more widespread in the afternoon. From Thursday until Monday afternoon, scattered thunderstorms will occur. This weekend does not look like a good time to make plans outside. Sorry to rain on your parade. I'm Sabrina, keeping you in the know for all of your weather news. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sabrizi, and what a funny joke on raining on your parade. Yeah, not a bad joke at all. Students are enrolled in the spring semester of AP English 3. Please remember that there will be a test tomorrow over your summer reading during fifth lunch in the library. There are star screener makeups in third block today for anyone who did not get to take the Star 360. Any students interested in joining the bowling team will have a mandatory meeting tomorrow after school in room A137. Now let's roll, as in roll a bowling ball, as in an awful transition that was totally not forced. Let's give it to Ryan with sports. What is up, MJ? I'm Ryan, here with your sports. Last night, our girls' soccer team played Hume Fogg and not only won, but completely dominated, winning 5-0. The goals were scored by five different players, and we had five assists by four different players. Congrats to Summer Elmore, Jenna Rame, and Allie Cole for scoring the first goals of their high school careers. Also, congratulations to Brooklyn Butler and Kara Sharp for adding another goal to their records. Our volleyball team faced off against McGavick and swept away the competition, winning 3-0. That brings their overall record to 1-0. Here's a few highlights from the game. Congrats to Tavy Bell with 13 kills and 3 aces, Sarah Grace Wilson with 22 digs, Cassidy Harris with 6 blocks, and Ashlyn Rosinski and Amber Earhart with plenty of assists. Our volleyball team plays again next Friday night at 6.30pm against Lipscomb at Franklin Fieldhouse. I did check Twitter and haven't seen anything about a face shot, but maybe someone will retweet something later. Hey, and be sure to come out Friday night to watch your Bears face off against Gallatin at home at 7pm. In national sports news, the Olympics. Yes, I know you've probably heard of it already, but Shawnee Miller's dive at the line in the women's 400 meter race was incredible. If you haven't seen it already, here it is. One final surge, here comes the finish line. It'll be tight, it will be a dive by Miller for the line. As she and Felix came to the finish together, I think she got it. That dive was enough to win Miller gold. That's it for sports. Back to you guys. Do any of your cheerleaders want to join a youth cheer camp? Well, that's just great if you do. And if you don't, then I guess still watch because what else do you have to do? It starts on August 27th and you can register now up until the day of the camp. And hey, if you register today, you can guarantee yourself a camp t-shirt. Make sure to wear comfortable clothing such as tennis shoes and gym shorts. And also make sure to bring a sack lunch. But don't worry, snacks and drinks will be provided. Now here's Trending Now with Duncan. Hey guys, I'm Duncan and this is what's trending now. MJ Archery, big shout out to James Thompson for his achievement in the National Archery Competition. He's been doing archery for four years and his, and his practice paid off in this competition with over 900 other people in his division competing with him. While, while this competition wasn't affiliated with MJHS, Thompson is on our archery team and he suggests that anyone who enjoys hunting with them comes and practices. Olympics time. People are getting engaged left and right at the Olympics. A Chinese diver, Chen Kai, proposed to his girlfriend, another diver, He Zhe, right after she won a silver medal. Likewise, last week, a stadium manager in Rio proposed to her rugby player girlfriend, so now we have two happy engaged couples at the Olympics. Remember guys, we have a pep rally on Friday, so don't forget to wear whatever your class government has agreed upon. Well, that's all from Trending Now. Back to you guys. Now let's see our new teacher spotlight. Can I have your name, sir? Alright. Now, after the first few days of Mount Juliet, what do you think about it? It's a, um, it's, it's a great school, and um, I'm happy to be here. Um, how long have you been teaching? 
this is my ninth year. And um, what do you like to do outside of school? A hobby I had was photography. Um, just um, you know, general stuff. And um, where did you graduate from? Um, East Tennessee State University. Fair okay. Pride. Well, you can tell everybody. Can I have your name, sir? Uh, Weston DeMondrian. All right. And after the first few days of being at Mount Julia High School, what do you think about it? I, I really like it. It's been a, a lot different. I used to teach middle school. So this is a, a big jump to a different age group, but it's been a lot of fun. Very busy, but enjoyable. Um, how long have you been teaching? This is my sixth year. All right. And what do you like to do outside of school? Uh, I like golf and playing ultimate frisbee and watching lots of sports in general. Okay. And do you sponsor any clubs at Mount Juliet? Uh, I'm involved with the marching band, but not as far as the sponsor goes. And where did you graduate college from? I went to Tennessee Tech. Bear Pride. And sitting there reeling them in. Hunting, fishing, loving every day. That's the prayer that a country boy prays. Thank God he made me this way. All right, welcome to Montgomery High School. Can we get your name? Jonathan Parks. All right, you know, after the first few days, um, what do you think about Montgomery High School? Uh, it's a great place to work. It's got great students, great teachers. Um, everybody works together, so I'm excited to be here. Okay. Um, how long have you been teaching? This is my eighth year teaching, my ninth year coaching. Okay. And uh, what do you like to do outside of school? Uh, I like to hunt and I fish a lot. I like to fly fish and uh, spend time with my wife and go to the beach. Okay. Um, do you sponsor any club in Mount Julia? Uh, I do not sponsor a club. I do coach football, though. So we're excited for this football season. And um, where did you graduate college from? I graduated from Middle Tennessee State University. Go Blue Raiders. Bear Pride! Have your name, sir? It's Reggie Grimes. All right. And after your first few days being at Mount Julia High School, what do you think about it? Uh, I think it's an awesome atmosphere. Uh, I think it's very conducive for learning. Uh, the kids are great. Uh, the faculty and staff has been great. So I'm uh, really excited about being here. Okay. And um, how long have you been teaching? Uh, I've been in it for five years. Okay. And, uh, what do you like to do outside of school? Outside of school, uh, Football, anything that's football related, when I'm watching football, coaching football, uh, playing football, uh, athletics. Uh, do you sponsor any club at Mount Juliet? Uh, no. And uh, where did you graduate college from? I graduated from the University of Alabama. Bear Pride. And sitting there reeling them in. Hunting, fishing, loving every day. That's the prayer that a country boy prays. Welcome to MJHS, teachers. There is a Moo Alpha Theta meeting tomorrow morning at 7.45 in room C-113. Best Buddies is having a returning member meeting after tomorrow in room A-108. Now here's your word of the day. This is, this is a good shade of black. Uh, smells like not a vending machine. A tilt factor. It's been pulled out from the wall a few times, so... Tilt. Not gonna, factor. not gonna stay in one place. All right, I'm 11 by 20. By uh, six feet high, six. No, oh, dang, it's not my part again. I do it every time. What a bunch of jokesters, right? <laughs> I'm so sad. That's it for WBN at Channel 9 News. I'm Jonas, and I'm Jacob. Here at WBN, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a great day, day MJ. Day.